So today it's an easy shop project that involves a little bit of 3D printing, some repurposing of import chucks, drilling and tapping, and some lathe turning like you saw. So what I'm doing is I'm actually creating a hand vise and this is an import chuck. It's actually not bad but it's not the greatest thing around. And uh, sometimes I do some hand drilling and I like having these for that purpose so what I've done is I've actually drilled through this already had a thread in it but I don't have anything that matches that thread but there was enough meat in there about a quarter inch worth of uh, steel that I drilled and tapped uh, which is 516th uh, National Course 18 so, as you saw, this is the rod that I turned. I made these nice and round. And it's mostly for protection. And, uh, well, you're not going to be able to see in there, but this actually just threads in. And I can, act can actually thread all the way through and it'll come out of the jaws, but that's not something that I need to, that I want to do. That's not something that's desirable. So, next thing up is a nut and this nut is going to bear down and uh, tighten up this rod the rod coincidentally it's stainless steel um, the nuts are galvanized so it shouldn't gall technically we'll see even if they do gall As long as they don't go while I'm assembling and they go after I'm done assembling it, it's fine too. And give it a good old tightening. Now this is one solid piece. I 3D printed a washer with a hex size on it and it's actually a press fit. Like so. And the nut. Now while my 3D print was pretty good, I did not go deep enough on the nut, which is fine. It, it's not sharp and it's not going to hurt anything, so... At the end of the day, that also allows me to bear down on this. And there we go, a hand drill, and uh, the key as always goes in the chuck like so, and yeah I could have gone for a cordless uh, chuck, but this is what I had on hand, and this was a quick project, yeah. I couldn't leave well enough alone, so this is a small drill. I can put in a um, chamfering tool, I can put in a d different kinds of tools, basically anything you can put in a drill, but the nice thing about this is slow sensitive drilling, so you can actually make your way through. And yeah, it takes forever, but not as long as you think it does. And the actual weight does help. Yes, there's a hole there. And yes, I can actually go through the whole thing. It doesn't take that long, this is just wood. But it comes in handy every once in a while. You need it for sensitive drilling operations. Oh, well, here you go. Went all the way through. Came out the other end. That's it. To code AV, keep your dick in the vice.